So we'll uh, just create uh, this one, uh, an ideation process uh, uh, walkthrough. Uh, create a, a quick, quick session uh, with the fig jam and uh, see how that will uh, turn out. Finally, we'll uh, use fig jam to assign uh, the different activities to our team members and uh, set uh, priorities ourselves. Then uh, uh, indicate uh, various activities uh, in our calendar date and uh, that uh, will uh, have you set to go to start using Fijam as soon as possible. Let's get into it. So I'll uh, just proceed to uh, explain some very key features that uh, this uh, uh, application has to offer. So to start with, uh, let's say we were cooperating we were cooperating or uh, collaborating with other team members. We, we will, for instance, uh, create some sticky notes. And uh, for instance, let me choose one sticky note and put it over here. And maybe another team member selects another sticky notes. Or I made sticky notes for all of us. Then we start uh, the ideation process. So first, let me just uh, put the sticky notes around. Yeah, then um, we can uh, maybe decorate this section we're working on. We're working on uh, using a washi tape. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me put another one down here. This is just random to make it more colorful and uh, appealing yeah so to get the wash tape you just click over here and uh, then uh, we can now proceed to ideation process but before I, co I can do that I can set the timer and the music uh, so first let me choose the uh, music before I set the timer so for this one, um, just remain with this acoustic ambient and um, uh, maybe set it, then uh, set the timer. Uh, before I set the timer, uh, we can agree that uh, within the next uh, three minutes, we need to generate uh, three ideas or more, three first and uh, the version of each of the members is needed so we need us uh, proceed uh, for instance for now you can just see my name over the sticky notes but in case other people are also uh, creating the sticky notes uh, their name will appear here but uh, for the team purpose everyone will uh, use the sticky note to come up with uh, some ideas so I can just proceed to set the timer Then you 
as an emoji. to see what other people uh, just, you can just click on the yes and read it then click on the one and then read it I think it is all of what uh, you have uh, seen as the feedback you can just like click and click resolve it will be done away with resolve it will be done away with so this is just uh, it I've uh, just explained a few, uh, captured a few features, so we will now just move to other features very fast. So what uh, else do we have in Figma Jam? Uh, and uh, can explore the shapes over here. For example, uh, we can choose uh, to make a square just by drawing over here. Then uh, maybe reduce it a bit. Uh, we might uh, decide to use this shape to make a, a decision tree, for example, or a decision diagram. So let me just uh, make another one. Yeah, and uh, Figma Jam is smart enough to give me the exact uh, same uh, shape. Then uh, I can uh, find uh, diamond. To have uh, an even shape, you can press Shift. Then. Uh, This one is just for sele selection, and this one is for moving hand tool. So if you want to move them, you can move them. If you want just to select one of them and move, you can use the selection tool. So just to type, I can uh, use this text to type. So for example, uh, if we talk about an e-commerce platform, we need to make a decision for example if uh, the cart is full we check out if not we continue shopping so for instance if the cart full full then over here can say continue I'm right over here we can have check out so yes that is just it so we can uh, decide to use connectors to connect uh, this one and uh, connectors you can press X and uh, drag uh, uh, the 
connected to this shape over here. Um, that is uh, pressing X on PC or Mac, but we can also decide to use uh, this one over here. And then we can choose to add text. Yeah. And this side by pressing X, we can do another connector. Yeah, and then we can add some text. Also. By that, we have uh, just drawn a decision tree. And we can just move this one on the side to explore the features. Uh, for instance, uh, we can change the the color of this one to maybe that then this one to there's a lot you can do with figma jam as you can see another common application of fig jam or if you like figma jam is uh, criticizing a design or giving feedback so for instance i'll uh, just go to back to figma Copy this one, a copying, go back to FigJam, then first, uh, then just to make it more clear, move it uh, at the top here, uh, then expand it a little bit by holding shift and then dragging. So here we have the design. So if our team members want to give the input, they can either use stickers or uh, em emotes and for emotes we have a permanent one and a temporary one so for instance uh, for temporary ones uh, the, this one can use fire or uh, maybe they give uh, some laughter over uh, this deal section or uh, they can decide to use this permanent one for example, uh, if they like uh, this uh, 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 sec such section, they can uh, give the like. The only problem with uh, these emotes, they are not expandable, so you have to do uh, many of them so that they can be visible. And uh, you can also use uh, like. If you like this, this section, you can give a several likes just to be visible. They are not expandable, that is why you must just uh, leave a lot of them. Then uh, you can explore others. For example, if you don't understand uh, the need for a notification bell, you can just uh, leave a lot of question marks. And uh, for instance, if I click one of the emotes, uh, the name of the person who will leave uh, that reaction will be displayed. Yeah, so another option that is better for me personally, as compared to these emotes, that are expandable are uh, stickers. So for stickers, you will come over here. Then uh, for clicking, you will uh, just... Uh, we have stickers, templates, for now we'll just uh, consider stickers. So going for stickers, I'll uh, choose for example here, contain a lot of some uh, good stickers. So maybe I want to use fire. For this deal section, I'm impressed by it. So I'll just shift and expand, hold shift and drag. So that I'll just put it over here. Can even rotate it. Uh, that's okay. Then I can even add some uh, comment there. This, this picture. Then you can just leave that one there. So anyone can just read uh, that comment. I can decide to use another 
reaction tika for reaction uh, maybe maybe a dislike for instance uh, I might uh, consider putting a dislike over here and uh, explain it further maybe I want just to say I think deals should uh, come before categories Then leave that one there. So, and also they are they will be updated over here for anyone who wants to read them quick and fast. Let's explore the features uh, that are present in Figma Jam. I'll uh, go. Uh, I'll use this table to assign. Uh, team members uh, tasks so that uh, can demonstrate the uh, one use of uh, that particular table so I can change the color to maybe let me use orange then uh, I can add some te text so for instance I can put tasks then uh, name when I come here I can decide now to use uh, maybe extra large Eric large Design, then we can have And uh, by that, I will have uh, used uh, the table feature to assign uh, uh, tasks to team members. Uh, another feature that I can uh, look at uh, is uh, the templates that we have. For instance, I'll uh, just pick uh, the first template to use. Yeah, so uh, this template over here. There are sticky notes that one can use, and also we have uh, like a calendar planner that uh, we can use to locate activities throughout uh, a given period, and also priorities for individual members what they should work on. So, just to explore this, I'll uh, expand it a little bit, then uh, slide over here. So here I'll just type my name. Then I can decide to add an image here or any other relevant. Yeah, an image then yeah, outside of my work, I can indicate what is outside of my work. Maybe use uh, use uh, interviews. Then my top priorities will be 
design of uh, sign up page and uh, I might need help with uh, selecting is reviews. So that is it. Uh, here I'll place uh, maybe an image of myself. Then for this uh, important date, today is 19th, but I can uh, populate other dates with activities. For instance, I'll uh, just use lunch. Then change color to white and let's use understanding. Then use another one here. Change color. Then Maybe here uh, we do some prototyping. Um, finally, have uh, some tests. I'm testing on the prototype. Yeah, so that is basically it. I've uh, explored the, the features you need to get started with the uh, Jam, and uh, I think that is it.